Welcome to Cars at 100 and on today's review I have this very beautiful Jeep Cherokee This is 2018 model so let's not waste any more time Let's check this car from outside, from inside and let's go ahead looks really nice I like this back lights really sharp looking for 2019 this is a limited version of a car so it looks a little bit better than the one that it replaced it's a v6 as you can see by the dual exhaust pipes in the back this is 4x4 this is all-wheel drive car of course this is a small SUV and uh, nice wheels as well you can see the wheels very cool looking truck you know these are very popular cars and there's a reason for that because these cars look very sharp I like this daytime running light that is coming off like a strip here this is for 2018 this car looks really nice it has been redesigned and before it looked a very different uh, type of car but now these lights looks really nice as you can see the fog light housing over there as well this prominent jeep grill as well really good badge here for those who really respect the brand it's really nice representation of the car this car is i'm gonna put the price on the screen so you can see what this car is all about in terms of the price but overall it's a really nice car it looks really sharp you have this nice jeep key fob and you have unlock lock twice for trunk release and you have automatic start here as well so if you click twice and hold second time the car will remote start and you can just keep this key in your pocket rather key fob and you can also lock it or unlock it by the sensor behind the door opener here and just like that you will enter this beautiful SUV this is a very nicely appointed car you have the leather here you have the white leather which looks really nice this, the, this is leather red material but still it looks really nice soft touch materials on top you have a very nice door opener here you have a memory seating here as well you have the automatic up and down for the windows for the front you have the mirror controls here as well you have the speaker housing you have a bottle uh, storage here but overall this car looks really nice this leather is really nice you have a jeep uh, door seals here really nice but I, I think they're gonna get scratched up but this is a rugged vehicle so no worries there very nice steering wheel here as well very nice seats as you can see here really nice seats you have a jeep logo up top really good touch you have a perforated seats uh, these are really nicely bolstered and uh, you know comfortable seats for longer trips very good seating options here in terms of the controls as well you have a all weather floor mats as an accessory really good let's check out the back seats of this car very nice appointment in the back seats as well very nice perforated seats uh, not a lot of leg room but still you know I'm sitting all the way back uh, up front and uh, it's not a lot of leg room but still you know you could sit here like this this is all the way back not a lot of leg room here but overall a comfortable experience and as you can see here as well uh, I'm almost touching the ceiling here which is very weird for this type of car honestly there is not a lot of uh, headroom here in the back and if not the sunroof I would probably be touching the ceiling I'm six feet tall um, yeah so overall you have here USB and two USBs and power outlet here the actual power outlet in order to open the trunk you can press twice on the key fob to open the trunk automatic trunk and as you can see here plenty of space here uh, very nice rugged 
trunk mat here as well you have more space here when you lift this up as well you have a spare tire there as well and uh, just like that you know you can also drop down these seats of course to have even more storage this car is really nice uh, now these cars have been redesigned they've been updating these cars uh, uh, many times and now this car is the latest iteration of Jeep Cherokee it looks really refined really nice it drives really smooth and in terms of the steering wheel there is no 10 and 2 notches but it's understandable this car is a not a performance vehicle you have here controls for the infotainment screen in between the tech and speedo uh, so you know you can manipulate different options here as mile per gallon trip and uh, everything else that is given to you in terms of the information from the car you have here very nice controls also for the cruise control so there is no adaptive cruise control but you still have a cruise control for longer trips it's really nice overall this steering wheel really looks nice and um, comfortable it's a real leather you have very nice vents very good design you have the storage here as well in between the dashboard on top uh, you have also very good infotainment screen here very sharp as you can see here really nice looking screen you see everything here you have also very good response in this infotainment as well you have the parking sensor assist here as well start stop button here on the right you have controls here for the automatic climate control traction control of an on button here you have here different uh, modes so you have auto you have snow you have sport that makes the car a little bit more sporty and uh, it will hold the gears and it will have a better controls in terms of the more enthusiastic uh, driving of this car but the overall you know you leave this car in the auto mode and this car will have all the features adjusted to your driving uh, abilities you have here also usb uh, input and you have here aux input as well you have dc 12 a wall power outlet here and you have very good transmission lever here you have prnd and manual drive so if you go all the way to the left you can have the plus or minus in this car to drive it uh, more sporty you have automatic parking brake here very good cup holders here as well not that big but still really good uh, size you have here storage very good storage here 12 volt power outlet here second usb here for the top for the uh, front passengers i mean and also you have a coin holder here old school coin holder and a pretty big storage i would say um, you also have the storage here if you lift up the only top section of this storage you have different section here and if you lift up top section you have the robbery storage here that you can store something and it will not slide around so that's good I have a window sticker right here you can pause the video at any time to look at the specs and features of this Jeep Cherokee final assembly point for this car is Illinois USA let's check out what this car has under the hood and as you can see here this is v6 engine that this car has and i'm gonna put all the stats on the screen so you can understand this engine in detail as you can see right now i'm driving this jeep cherokee and um, it's a really refined car the first impression that I get out of this car driving this car is I feel that this car is very refined transmission is very smooth power delivery is very smooth the steering wheel uh, gives you this confidence in feel also 
one thing that uh, worth mentioning is the steering wheel is a little bit vague but I don't think it has to be very uh, sporty or uh, you know very engaging this is a small SUV this car is gonna be used every day this car has some power because it's a v6 after all and the overall this car feels that it has get up and go everything else in terms of the technology and how this car is appointed with all the touch soft touch materials on the dashboard with the stitching and everything this car looks nice feels nice and it's a nice car you know for the price that this car is i'm going to put it on the screen so you can see it has a very good infotainment system very clear infotainment system you have the information screen between tech and speedo up front you know car gives you lots of information even uh you know something very detailed like you know how much uh, trip uh, what the trip info is how much time you've been on the road mile per gallon and everything else fuel economy gauge is particularly nice in this car it feels really nice it feels refined it i am the fan of the cars that feel that they are engineered well and this car feels that it's engineered well and overall i would give this car a very good thumbs up because it's a nice car for, for what it is I think it's a very big competition for Mazda uh, CX-5 because CX-5 that I reviewed recently it's a very nice car Japanese built vehicle and this car is a very good proposition compared to that car so consider this car as well because this car is a really nice car and it's American car it's something that has a build quality as well from here uh, also in terms of the storage and everything else in terms of the appointments you have a very good storage and space in here you don't feel cramped in this vehicle uh, it's very spacious uh, for four people uh, you're gonna drive for longer trips even five people you have also very good trunk in the back but overall in terms of the ride quality this car is really nice too it's gonna be very comfortable for longer trips you have the cruise control here as well of course uh, right now on every car but sometimes you know you won't you want a little bit more so the adaptive cruise control would be nice for this particular car uh, overall it's a really nice car and um, I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you next time stay loving cars